Okay, so we got our shark shape and our name. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and make my name a little transparent so I can see through it. And why are you working? Why should I spend my time with you? And I, I got a pretty good size here. I want to use a bold font. I think I used impact for this. Um, once I have it placed, I want to ungroup. <clears throat> and then I'm going to point edit by double clicking. And I'm just going to cover my shark. I'm, I'm going to select multiple do, uh, points by hitting shift and dragging through, and then I can move them to where I want them. And I don't need that, so I'm going to bring them back down. And the same thing with this. Sorry, it's going to take a little bit. And yet he did betray you. Did he have an opportunity to confess his betrayal? Yes. Many opportunities. And did he look smaller? I just want to make sure I get his whole outline covered. But this one I'm going to make wider as well. Removes the door from the city. Now that I've got it all there, I'm going to select, I'm going to move the short, uh, oops, I'm going to select each one of the letters, so I'm going to select shift, and continue to select till I get all the letters, and then I'm going to group them, and then I want to send them to the back, and then I'm going to select both the shark and the name. And I'm going to go to weld, and I'm going to crop. And there's my shark name. Um, great thing is if you mess up, you can always undo.
Now if you have a short name like this one here, what I did is I just put two circles over the shark. And it'll still give you this kind of the same look. I hope that's helped.